Okay, morning everyone. Um, I came across this little video on Instagram um, and I really kind of enjoyed the way that the different elements seem to be sliding along a little path into position, like these little planks here, number of the objects, the water. Um, and I was wondering, you know, how do you do this in Cinema 4D? And I came up with a little technique which basically does exactly that. Um, so I'm going to share that with you now. All right, so kind of jumping into Cinema 4D, I've drawn out a little spline here. So I went into my right hand view here and then just using the spline pen here just basically drew out a little path and then put together a little plank as an example here. You'll notice that the plank has quite a few segments along the length and that's because we are going to be basically wrapping this shape along the spline and in order for it to properly deform along that spline it's going to need a bit more geometry. Okay, so without further ado I'm just going to bring up the spline wrap. So I'm going to press shift C um, and search for spline wrap in there. I'll double click that spline wrap and put it into the cube or make it a child of the cube. Then if you click on the spline wrap, go into its object tab, you can drag your spline into this spline dialog here. It might initially not look correct and that's because it's not actually orienting it correctly. You can see that my spline is along this Z axis here. And so I need to change the axis in this object tab here for my shape so that it gets deformed along the correct axis. So I'll change it to positive Z. It still doesn't quite look like I want because it's actually extending along the full length of the spline. Uh, so I need to change the mode here from fit spline to keep length because I want to keep the length of my plank. So I'll click keep length and then yet again it's still not quite oriented correctly. It's rotated a bit so if we go into the coordinates tab of the same spline wrap and just change that rotation there we can rotate that to 90 degrees and now we actually have our plank oriented correctly and the correct segment length um, and ready to travel along this spline. So if we go to that spline rack, back to the object tab, all we need to animate at this position is the offset property. So if you animate that offset property, your plank will be able to travel along that spline and deform and maintain its segment length. Okay, and that's it for this tutorial.